So in this lecture, uh, we're going to take a look at how to do some basic arithmetic, uh, addition and subtraction specifically, in other bases. And before we do that, uh, I want to take a look at, it at a base 10 example. Everybody's already familiar with this, I know. But there, there's a, a point or two that I really want to highlight to make sure it's clear why we're doing what we're doing, because that's going to be important when we start doing this with other bases. All right, so we start on the far right-hand side. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 is a perfectly good base 10 digit. That goes in the first column. And the next column, 9 plus 7 is 16. And that's problematic. It's too big. I can only put a single digit under the 7 and the 9. Right? Well, the 6 is going to go down there, but why 6? I want you to think about this for a minute. 16 minus 10 minus the base digit, the base of the number, gives me 6. That's where the 6 comes from. Okay, and I really don't want you to think of this as 16 minus 10. I want you to think of this as 16 minus the base. It's going to be important when we look at the next example where the base isn't 10. So I'm going to carry that, that 10. Again, I'm carrying a, a base value. And now we add 4 plus 2 plus 1. That's 7. And we're home free. Okay. Let's look at an example in a different base. 134 base 6 plus 451 base 6. All right, so when I'm looking at this, first thing you want to do is be really clear on what numbers are allowed. In base 6, the only numbers I'm allowed to write in each of those columns is going to be something between 0 and 5. Nothing else is allowed. All right, so we'll start the same way. Look at the, at the far right-hand column. 4 plus 1 is 5. Excellent. Perfectly good. Base 6 digit. I can put that 1 in my answer. Now, 3 plus 5 is 8, right? 8 is too big. It is not on my approved list. So I need to put something down below in that column, and I'm going to carry something up in the other column. How do I figure out what? Well, remember what I, what I said, right? It's the number you end up with minus the base. So if I do 8 minus 6, I get 2. So 2 is the number that's going to go down here. I'm going to carry out. I'm not carrying a 10 at this point. I'm really carrying 1, 6. And now we're going to add. 4 plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Okay, again, got a problem. 6 is not on my approved list. Okay, but I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do 6 minus the base, which is 6, right? That's 0. So I'm going to put a 0 down here in that column, and I'm going to carry a 1. Now, add down, bring the 1 down, however you like to think of it. There's my final result, but just like we talked about in the last lecture, right, don't forget to put the little base number down there. Okay, so that, that's going to be my final answer here. 1025, base 6. Okay, so how about subtraction? Okay, same principles are going to, as when we do this with decimal numbers, right? First, I, I want my list again, right? These are the only numbers I'm allowed to use in my final answer. Okay, so now let, let's start doing our subtractions. Start of the right-hand column. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 is on my list. Absolutely, we can just put that in the final result. Okay, you look at the middle column. 3 minus 5. I can't do 3 minus 5 base 6 any more than I could do 3 minus 5 when this is base 10. All right, so I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to borrow, if you will. So I'm going to look at the next number over. That 4, I'm going to take one unit, being careful with my language here, I'm going to take one unit away from 4, reduce it down to a 3. Now, we're doing this base 10. You put a little 1 up there, the 3 becomes a 13. You're good to go. Okay, not going to do that here. That 1 that you would be putting there would be a 10. 10 plus 3 is 13, right? Just like in the, in the addition, when I, when I took out a base unit, here I'm going to add in a base unit. Right? So instead of putting a little 1 down there and making this 13, I'm going to put... A 9, that's 3 plus 6. Now I can subtract. 9 minus 5 is 4. Look at the next column. 3 minus 2 is 1. And I'm done. Almost done. Got to put the base in there. Okay, so are, are we really doing this subtraction in the addition of the previous slide in base 6? Well, sort of. Um, I mean, that 9 that I put up there, right, that's not a base 6 digit. 
technically speaking, yeah, that's that's not okay. So really, I, I'm kind of doing this in, in a kind of a mixture of base 6 and base 10. Could we do the entire thing base 6? Yes. Uh, but then I, I'd have had a 13 there, and it would have been a 13 base 6, not base 10. So 13 minus 5 would not have been 8. 8 is not a base 6 number, right? So it, it gets messier if you try to be a, a real purist that way. Uh, I, I think when we're doing these, it, it's easier to kind of do parts of it in the number system that we're so super intuitively familiar with, right, rather than trying to go all the way. Okay, so this brings us to the end of, of our discussion of different bases. Uh, we do have one more type of number system we're, we're going to talk about, something called a modular number system. Uh, you actually are a little bit already familiar with this. Um, the, the most common example of these things, this is the one I'm going to use in the next lecture, uh, is a clock, and so-called so -called clock arithmetic. Clocks only go up to 12. Right? That's the only number allowed. Once you go past 12, you wrap back around to 1. That's very, very similar to what a modular number system does. So we'll kind of be using that as our base example.